Hello. How you doing? I hope I don't look like shit. I'm out in the wilds, man. I haven't had a bath in a minute. But that's okay. I'm gonna take one. Actually, I do have, I have been bathing. I'm not gonna lie. I have a sprayer. Uh, one of those sprayers you like go around spraying like with off and stuff like that. Anyways, I bought a sprayer and it's got a handle in the hose and you just use it to wash off. It's like, it's like shower in the wilds. But that's not what I want to talk about. My my <clears throat> my hygiene. What I want to talk about is movies. I love movies. I grew up in 1970, and there's been amazing movies ever since. I mean, Jaws. Come on now, Close Encounters, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Jesus, come on, go away. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, amazing movies. Before Blockbuster closed down, though. I would like to add, I would go, and this was, what, 2005, oh shit, I don't know, way back in the day, right? I would go into Blockbuster, and I would look at the new movies coming out, and I swear to God, two-thirds of the movies that were out would be labeled B-movies. Just absolute shit, horrible acting. I mean, I'm just, and the whole time I'm looking at all these fucking movies and I'm thinking, how much money did they spend wasting on these fucking movies when they could have been making some really awesome masterpieces? I mean, there's a few out there that have been doing some good work, but for the most part, you got to admit, they, they pump out a lot of B movies for some fucking reason and I don't know why. And there's just a bunch of B actors. I mean... Yeah, it's just got a really crappy. Nicolas Cage has got really bad too. It's like all of them. It's like, it's like everybody is so pathetic now in their acting skills or their, you know, their people. Their, I don't know if it's their desirability. People aren't really giving a shit about them. No, like Nicolas Cage gives a shit, right? But he thought he was the shit up for a while because he's, you know, families in the business. They're all rich, right? But people are getting tired of these fucking people. You know, they're end up they're they're gonna end up doing like TV ads for fucking medication and shit, right? It's just, it hurts my heart because I, I love movies and I've seen so many great ones and they just, they've gone so down. I'm not even talking about that rust thing with um, Baldwin shooting that lady. That was just a mishandling of the whole. From what I gather, the, the set was horrible. The crew was quitting. A lot of the crew quit on the day that he shot her because of all the conditions were so bad. They were, they were firing, people were quitting and, this, and they were firing people or whatever and they were hiring scabs to do the work because they couldn't, nobody wanted to work. That was legit, right? So that's that's just one example of fucked up movies. And Alec Baldwin's just a horrible fucking actor anyways. I mean, what, he did, pay, what, Patriot Games or some shit? He did one, he did like maybe one good movie. I don't know, fuck, way back in the day. You know, but anyway, the point is you got all these actors who were just has-beens they're just they're just out of touch you know and now they're doing these fucking b movies and wasting a lot of money it just it's terrible i mean they, there's so many great movies that can be made i have ideas for some amazing movies but of course i'm not a globalist piece of shit so i'm never gonna even get in the door but anyway so i'm sorry that you're seeing all these fucked up movies i'm i'm, I'm ashamed of hollywood but then again they're all a bunch of perverts now they're all chester molester motherfuckers <clears throat> Anywho, I just wanted, it's a rant about movies. I just, I miss really good movies. I miss going to the theater. Um, you know, Pandora was awesome. There's some good movies. I mean, you know, the Lord of the Rings, I mean, they do good movies, but I mean, that was epic. You know I mean? There's like, but for the most part, you couldn't pay me to go see a movie nowadays. They're just all crap. And it's all getting politicized. And it's all like a great, a great example would be Ghostbusters and then we're with all women. It was just PC. It was, it was, it was supposed to be, you know, you know, men are misogynist or whatever. So it's got to be all about women now. So what they did was they instead of making the new Ghostbusters <clears throat> about the old guys, you know, coming back and doing some stuff and I don't know, just rehashing the original characters, they just decided to scrap and have all women. And apparently, it sucked. Same thing with Ocean's Thirteen or whatever the fuck it was, or Fourteen or the girls. It's not that women aren't empowered women aren't amazing and ability to fucking make amazing movies but all these people are liberal douchebags they're not even you know i mean they're not even really great actors and they're all from like saturday night live and shit so why don't you get actual great actors to do actually great movies when they could be all women 
you could have a movie. I actually, <clears throat> one of my ideas of a movie is about um, Amazon women that actually existed in time and fought. Well, this is all the Iliad, you know, you're talking about Trojan War and and there were women, I talked about that, um, there were women that uh, were Amazons that actually fought on the side of Troy against Greece. And in one example, Achilles fought um, one of the queen warriors and killed her. So, you know, got a broken heart about it. <clears throat> but there's some amazing movies with awesome characters for women. <sighs> but, you know, these PC motherfuckers are just ruining film. They're ruining cinema. They're all a bunch of scumbags, and, you know, that's all I got to say about it. I'm really disappointed in the cinema, theater, avant-garde. It's, it's, it's all crap. I hate to say it. So, that's my bitch. <laughs> I love movies, but I hate the ones that are coming out now. I really do. They actually have, it's interesting, I was looking at something on Netflix or whatever, or Amazon, about um, The Wheel of Time, Robert Jordan great book series I mean I can't I kind of quit reading after the fifth or sixth book but that's a long series they're gonna milk it like they did um, Game of Thrones but there's another book out there that um is it Fa Feist or Faust it's called uh, Mag Magician's Apprentice they talk about a series of books right it's amazing talk about a time rift from another world and these people were like all uh, like oriental like a samurai and they used wood swords it was sick they had creatures running around that was a bad, bad book series. And they're probably going to end up making that once somebody figures out what's going on. They're going to probably make a series out of that one too. <clears throat> yeah, Magician Apprentice, Magician Master. There's Darkness, Sithon or whatever, and um, Silverthorn. There's like four book series. It's really good. Silverthorn is my favorite because it's a separate book within the series. It's actually a cute little romance. I love going on. Anyway. <clears throat> I pray for good movies to come back, but then again, we got to get rid of all these scumbag globalists and all these perverts in Hollywood, and then we'll get the movies back. Blazing Saddles was an amazing movie. I don't care how PC these assholes think it wasn't. It was an amazing movie, and Claret, I think this is Clemens, 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 whatever the guy's name is, the actor that played the sheriff of Rock Ridge, he was an amazing comedic actor, and that was in a hell of a role to take, too, and it was a beautiful movie. And it made fun of racism, the ignorance of stupid people of all colors. So anyway, I love you. God loves you and the universe loves you. And hopefully this turned out. And yeah, that's my bitch on movies. <laughs> Have a wonderful night. And yeah, hopefully we'll see some movies soon that are worth seeing. <laughs>